So I'm Tim Colston. I'm a professor uh, and the director of genomic resources at the University of Puerto Rico in Mayaguez. So we're here in Arecibo uh, working with Jezette, who's a master's student who's studying the Cuban tree frog, which is an invasive species here in Puerto Rico. Uh, and we're very interested in both the toxins that the, is produced in the frog's skin uh, which can be harmful to things like pets and sometimes even people if they're ingested. But we're particularly interested in the microbiome, so the bacteria and fungi that are associated with uh, animal hosts. And so Jezette's particularly interested if there's bacteria that might be contributing to some of the toxicity that these frogs have been recorded to have. And so these uh, frogs have been invasive here in Puerto Rico. They're not native. Um, they first started invading about 30 years ago, and now they're spread pretty much all over the island in urban areas. And so we're also comparing different populations. And so it's really important to know the impacts that these frogs are having on native species, such as the koki, uh, and other uh, species that might potentially eat them, not just be eaten by them, because these frogs are opportunistic feeders. You see their nice big mouth, uh, they don't specifically eat koki frogs, but basically they eat anything that fits in their mouth, which sometimes includes kokis. Um, but when they are ingested by other animals, such as lizards, birds, uh, domestic pets, sometimes it can make those animals sick because they've, uh, as I mentioned, they're invasive. So none of the species here in Puerto Rico have evolved any kind of resistance to the toxins that these frogs produce. Um, but it's still totally unknown if the toxins are produced by the frogs themselves or perhaps by some microbes that are also present in the frog's skin. And so Jezette's work is really interesting and really important to look at what are the different microbes that are associated with these frogs in their different populations across Puerto Rico and if any of those are actually contributing to toxicity.